The second thing that I want to talk about is social media and just how destructive social media is for especially your generation. How many of you would agree with me that social media is not a reflection of, real, of people's real lives, what they post online? Who would agree with that statement? Yeah, let me give you an example. So last month, well, all of April, so just actually we got back a week ago, I went on a really cool train trip with my girlfriend. We left on April 3rd. We went to Chicago, Minneapolis, Montana, Seattle, Portland, down to California, spent some time with her family, and then took this coast-to-coast -coast train trip back home. So we stopped a bunch, and it was about 26 days. She, being the social butterfly that she is, she wanted to share this with all of her friends and family and so they could keep tabs on us. I'm kind of private, so I don't really care. Uh, but we set up a private Instagram account and she invited everyone and I invited a couple uh, friends and family so they could just, you know, we could post, show us, you know, them where we are in the country, what we're doing, some little cool train things and some of the hikes we went on, the food we ate, all that stuff. We did the whole, you know, here's what we're doing, look at us thing. What do you think I posted? What do you think we posted on that little train journey Instagram stuff? The best parts. All the best parts, right? All the great meals, all the beautiful scenery, the, the mountains, the amazing rivers. I mean, there was some incredible stuff that we saw. Guess what we didn't post? Yeah, we didn't post about our fights because we had a bunch of them. We didn't post about how stressed and tired we were when we were sleeping on the train for four nights in a row and getting two, three hours of sleep sometimes. We didn't post about being nitpicky at each other and being grouchy and, and just some days just like kind of feeling icky about each other. Because being with your significant other for 25 days straight in a train when you can't get away from each other and then constantly around other people, it's just a lot. It's hard on any relationship to do that. But we didn't put any of that on our social media, did we? So if you were another couple watching us, watching this story, comparing yourself to your regular life, you know, just going to work, coming home, you might say, man, are we as in love as them? Is our life as cool as theirs? Like this is, it would probably make you feel terrible. We're on this cool adventure showing the highlights and you're comparing it to your regular life. And regular life's not always that exciting, right? Most of our life is going through our routines, normal daily interactions, all that stuff. 